Hi everyone, it's Penny Robinson here and this video is showing how to use GraphPad Prism and do a t-test. To do a t-test, you need to choose column from the left hand side. The first example we're going to do, we need to select enter replicate values stacked in columns because we're entering data and then we say create. I'm going to give the data a name which is page 65 of Essential Medical Statistics. Column A is heavy smokers and column B is non-smokers. So now I enter the data for the heavy smokies. This is from page 65 from the Essential Medical Statistics textbook. There's the heavy smokies done. Now I need to enter the non-smokies. It's a little bit tedious because I don't have a number pad. Having entered all of the data, I need to choose Analyze from the ribbon at the top. Under Column Analyses, I want to do a t-test because I'm comparing the mean of the two groups. I want the heavy smokies and the non-smokies, so I will say OK. On the Experimental Design, section I want unpaired, I want to assume a normal distribution and I want to assume that both populations have the sta same standard deviation. Then I go to the options tab. I want the descriptive statistics under additional results and I actually want to be comparing the exposure minus the no non-exposure. The exposure is smokies, so I want heavy smokies minus non-smokies as the way I'm reporting the difference. And then I say OK. So firstly, let's check the descriptive statistics. The descriptive statistics mean and standard deviation, as well as the number of values, is the same as in the textbook on page 65. This means that I've entered the data correctly. Now I'll go to the tabula of results. It reports the p-value, the t-statistic and the degrees of freedom, the mean of the heavy smokies, the mean of the non-smokies, the difference between means, and 95% confidence interval. You don't need to worry about R squared. And it also reports the F test. 
This is not significantly different. So that means that we have done the analysis right and we did not have to assume unequal variances. We had to assume equal variances. So that is all good. Now that we've done the analysis for an assignment, we would need to follow the steps of hypothesis testing and drag out the results as required and insert them into a report.